Fish one. Fish one. Oh, it's a good fish. Big old snake. I don't know what kind of snake it is. What's up everybody, Fish Hawk here. Hope you guys are having a great day. In this video, I'm doing something very different. I'm actually down in Georgia visiting my cousin. He's a professional bird dog trainer and he's on a farm down here that has a bunch of creeks, streams, ponds, and lakes on it. But I'm fishing for anything that's going to bite. When I go to a new place, I just wanna catch fish. I don't care what they are. I don't care what size they are. I just wanna catch fish and explore. Very unique piece of water right here, very swampy. I'll show you guys um, around here before I get into the fishing, but it's gonna be a very nice day, have about 80 degrees, clear skies, a little bit of a breeze. And yeah, we're just gonna go fishing and have fun. Hopefully you guys enjoy, stay tuned. All right guys, here she is. Kind of hard to tell, but it's just a ton of water back through there with all these bushes and trees in it. Got this old bridge here. And then below the bridge, got a massive beaver dam. That's the start of it. And then we'll go down below the dam and I'll show you. But he's got this sucker dammed up good. I'm guessing that there's probably some fish around this uh, bridge here, around these pilings. I would think that that would hold some fish. But down here below this bridge, or below this dam I should say, looks very promising. Up here, tons of stuff on the water, pollen, leaves. But down below the dam, it looks very clean. The water's flowing and it goes way down through the woods there. So I'm just gonna fish as much of this as possible. Probably start up here at the bridge and then I'll probably work my way down through there as far as I can. It's very thick around here, very hard to kind of navigate around, very swampy, but yeah. Got the ultralight, should be fun. Let's get to it. Today I got my six foot ultralight St. Croix Premier Rod. I got a Fluger President Reel, and I have four pound test P-Line fluorocarbon. Down on this end, I have a tiny Euro Tackle tungsten jig head with a Euro Tackle glider soft plastic bait. And then right above that, I have a tiny float. When I'm fishing and exploring new water, I like to start out with a finesse setup like this. Pretty much any fish can get this in their mouth and we should be able to catch them. That way we can see what's in here and if there are any fish in here. Um, the float will keep this off the bottom because there's a ton of debris, tree limbs, brush, all kinds of stuff in this water. So I wanna keep this up off the bottom so I don't get hung up. But yeah, we're gonna see what's in here. If there's some bigger fish in here, we can change lures and upsize and maybe try to go for a bigger fish. But just to start out, this is a great setup. Let's see what happens. If you guys want anything from Euro Tackle, use code FISHHAWK to save some money. All right, guys, videoing from up here might be a little difficult. I'm gonna to try to keep the camera pointed down towards the water where I'm fishing, but here we go, first drop. Go drop it right near that piling. Fish jumping over there. Fish jumping over here. Got a cast to it. Got him. Oh, that was a good fish. That was a good fish, guys. I don't know if the camera caught it or not. All right, let's go back over here. Oh, fish one. Oh my gosh, it's a nice crappy. First Georgia fish from the swamp. Look at that crappy guys. That is awesome. Beautiful fish. Absolutely gorgeous. Pretty decent size too. That's awesome. See ya. I knew there had to be some fish under this bridge. Let's see if we can get another one. That was an awesome fish. Great start to the day. There's another one. Oh, lost him. Might have started a feeding frenzy. Oh, 
Oh, they like the aggressive jigging. Got him. Another crappy. Not quite as big as that last one. Second fish, another crappy. Beautiful fish. Let's let him go. I might have figured out a little piece of the puzzle. It doesn't seem like they want this, uh, this little jig sitting still. They want it moving. They want you to give it some action. As soon as I started jigging it and bouncing it and kind of reeling in and giving it action, that's when they just seem to go crazy and attack it. But when it's just sitting there, they're not that interested. There's another one. Oh! There he is. <laughs> all right, we might have caught all the big crappy. It's just a little fella. Just a little fella. We're gonna drop him right over the side. It's not that far of a drop. See ya, buddy. Fish one. Ah, oh, another crappy. That's not a bad one. Those little jigs, you usually hook them right in the upper lip, which is perfect. Another beautiful crappy. See you, buddy. Fish one. Oh my gosh, that's a good one. Oh, yes. I wanted you guys to see how I was working this bait because when it's sitting still, they're not interested. But as soon as you give it a bunch of action, kind of jigging it, moving it around, that's when they strike. Another nice crappy. See ya, buddy. This place is loaded with crappy and loaded with mosquitoes and bugs, little gnats that are biting the crap out of me. Oh my gosh, yeah. <sighs> Look at how pretty this fish is, guys. See you later. Guys, I'm having an absolute blast out here catching these crappy besides getting ate up by the bugs, but they are stacked under this bridge. It's absolutely loaded with crappy. Not massive, but pretty decent size. When I first got here, I was just kind of letting my jig hang under the float and waiting for a bite, but it wasn't really working. As soon as I started giving that jig some action, I started moving my rod tip back and forth and jigging it. They went crazy for it. I'm catching fish after fish after fish, pretty much every cast. Eventually, I'm gonna move down below this beaver dam behind me and see if I can catch some other species. I'm really interested to see if there's any other fish in here besides crappy. I believe there, there should be, there has to be, um, or I could change lures, but yeah, ultralight setup, four pound test line. This is absolute blast. Let's get back to fishing. Fish on, another crappy. Well, that's a good one. That's a real good one. About a nine inch crappy. All right guys, caught a ton of crappy from the bridge. Nothing else, so I'm gonna go down here below this beaver dam and see what other kind of fish that we can catch. So now what I'm gonna do is follow this creek downstream, see if there's any spots I can access and fish it. I have a Euro Tackle EPF swim tide on, great multi-species lure. If there's any bass, bluegill, crappie, you name it, they should bite it. So I'm gonna make my way downstream and hopefully get some more fish. Stay tuned.
Well guys, I don't think there's much point to keep going downstream. This creek is super, super shallow. I don't think there's gonna be any fish in there. So I guess I'm gonna go back up here, maybe fish a little more at this bridge or maybe go up stream from the bridge and maybe be able to find some other fish. See what happens. Fish one. Oh, yes, yes. Look at this beauty, guys. Gorgeous fish. I guess it's a bluegill or some sort of hybrid. You guys will have to let me know. I knew there had to be something else in here besides crappy. I think he kicked off before I got any footage of him. Oh well. I just got back up here to the bridge after exploring downstream, made a couple casts. That thing absolutely slammed this little swim bait. Be fun to catch a few more of those. I'm gonna walk down here. Fish one. Oh, it's a good fish. Oh, it's another bluegill. Let's go. Another bluegill, pretty fish. See you, buddy. Got him that time. Oh, that's a nice one. Holy moly. We found the bluegills. See you, buddy. I'm glad I walked over here. Two nice bluegill. Might as well try for another one. Well guys, I think I'm running out of access. It's super thick right here. Can't really make any casts. The deeper water is out towards the middle and I can't reach it. So I think we did pretty good today. I'm gonna call it a day. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today. Had an awesome day of fishing. First time ever fishing here. Wasn't sure what to expect. Wasn't sure if there was even fish in here. Caught some nice crappie, some nice bluegill. I'll leave all the information for the gear I used down in the description. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thank you so much for watching. Fish Hulk out.